Frequently asked question number two, how to perform a Thyroflex test. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the reflex hammer that was included in your box and then we are going to actually test to confirm that we have the correct spot. As you can see, we do have the correct spot because the middle finger slightly came up once it was struck. Now if we test outside of where the correct spot is or where the brachial muscle isn't, you'll see that the whole hand comes up, which is what we don't want. We want to be right where the middle finger just slightly pops up a slight amount. That's where the brachial muscle is. One more time. Okay? And then one more test with it not on the correct spot. And the whole hand pops up. The next thing then we're going to do is we're going to take the wristband You'll ask the patient to put their four fingers out and their thumb out because we do not need it over the thumb. Then we're going to line this up to the middle finger so that it's running straight down the patient's middle finger. We need the patient to completely relax their hand against the end of the table so it's nice and flexible. Then we're going to take the Thyroflex hammer and we're going to actually take it and cock it back and once it's cocked it's now ready for a test. We're then going to find that muscle that's in the forearm, the brachial muscle, and we're then going to fire the Thyroflex hammer and perform a test. And as you can see my middle finger popped up and we're going to perform one more test just to confirm it. Middle finger popped up once again, and as you can see, the patient was completely relaxed, and there was uh, no distractions or jitters. We'll do one more, and as you can see, the middle finger perfectly came up again, and there's three good tests for a Thyroflex. And then here, we're going to show you on the screen, this is exactly what we're looking for. Perfect bell curves, and then the system actually marks itself. So this is the pre-fire, this is the actual fire, and the pre-fire shows the actual time from the signal from the brain to the hand, and then the actual curve is the time of the patient's reflex.